everybody, this is Derek Goodwin from P9CAM Solutions. I know you're all busy, so I'm going to show you the five minute version of how to program a simple 2D part in HSMWorks. First, I'm going to apply a 2D facing cut to skim the top of the part. Next, I'll apply a 3D adaptive toolpath to rough the inside and outside of the part, leaving stock for finishing operations later. 3D adaptive clearing is a high-speed toolpath that analyzes the model and the stock to make intelligent decisions while machining the part. Now let's apply finishing toolpaths. First, I'll apply a 3D horizontal cut to finish all flat surfaces and the adjacent vertical walls. We'll use a 2D contour toolpath to finish around the outside of the part. You may have noticed that this is the first toolpath where I actually select geometry. Let the software do the work. Now let's deburr the outer edges of the part using a chamfer tool. I'll pick the bottom edges of the chamfers. If the chamfers are different sizes, that will be automatically accounted for. Select Contour as the depth, and then set the tip of the chamfer tool to cut 50 thousandths below the bottom edge of the chamfer. Next, we'll spot drill, drill and tap the 632 threaded holes. If you select the conical face on the model when using a spot drill, the system will automatically chamfer the hole to the correct diameter. With the operation selected, press Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate the operation. Right mouse click and edit the new operation. Pick the tap drill for the 632 hole. Select the cylindrical face and then set the depth of the hole a little deeper to accommodate the tap in the next operation. Control D again to duplicate the operation. Pick the 632 tap. Remove the extra drill depth. Set the cycle type to tapping. As you can see, we were able to program this part in a little under five minutes. Stock simulate to view the results and verify the programming technique.
post process to output G code. Now here's where it gets really interesting. HSM Works has some fantastic tools built in to increase productivity. Let's say you run families of parts or similar processes. You can easily create templates to save your workflow. Store a template. Open a new part and import your operations. You'll remember that for the first three ops I didn't need to pick geometry. Regenerate the toolpaths and they'll be applied to the new model. Pick the outside contour. Pick the geometry for the chamfers. Pick the new geometry for the tapped holes. If you would like more information on Autodesk CAM products, visit us at p9cam.